my channel so today I'm going to be showing you guys a review and demo on the new Kat Von D concealers if you guys don't know Kat Von D did come out with a new line of concealers foundations she even come out with the setting powder and some new brushes so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a review for you guys on these concealers because this has been a requested video um, I did pick up two of the shades I picked up pure white and I picked up number seven L7 warm um, both concealers are like $24 that kind of price range so they are pretty expensive I leave the information on where I purchased them and how much they are down below in the description bar but this is how the packaging looks like it is super nice very sleek the old foundation from Kat Von D looks like this so the new packaging for the foundation also looks like this so this is a very nice packaging very sleek very Kat Von D Kat Von D never does wrong with her packaging so it's a very nice this Kat Von D up here has Kat Von D. It tells you the name of the concealer in the bottom of the packaging. That's pretty much it. So it's very nice packaging as per usual. Um, these are the colors. L71 is a warm yellow tone concealer and of course pure white is just white. The reason why I got the white one is because I like mixing it in with different foundations or concealers. I know I said foundation. I do use this on foundation sometimes. Uh, I just dot it around my face and then mix it up with the foundation and it gives me the color that I need. Also, I love using these two together. Um, lately, I have been really loving that super bright under eye and mixing these two together is amazing for me. I am like light to light medium skin tone right now. I'm a little bit darker. I'm getting my lightness back sadly. So I like mixing these two up. I put a little dot on my on my under eye and I, then I put like a little triangle and then I blend it out. In the demo, I blended it out with my beauty blender and one side and the other side I used my G2 by Morphe. So here I'm just showing you guys what I use. I use the Becca under eye corrector first. I always use this product whenever I want to correct my under eyes. Every single time I do my makeup, I use this product. So that's the reason why I'm showing you guys in this demo. So now I'm going to use the two Kat Von D concealers. Um, so now I'm going to use the L7, which is the warm shade. And I'm going to apply it on one side of my face. And I'm going to apply a little bit of that white shade just to make sure my concealer is light enough for my skin tone. Then I'm going to use a damp beauty blender to just blend it all out. I'm speeding this process up because this is a pretty long process. So next I'm doing the other side. And as you can see, the side with the beauty blender looks nice. This is when it comes to be ugly and gross so beware again did the same thing on the other side but now I'm using the Morphe G2 brush and it is not blending out whatsoever it's taking a way longer time to blend out and I just got like so mad that I just used my beauty blender for the process do not use a brush trust me if you use a brush it's gonna look patchy because the product is too thick to blend out so you need to use a damp beauty blender in order for it to blend out nicely and to remove any excess product. So I highly recommend using a beauty blender or a damp beauty sponge. So that's what I'm doing here and applying any excess product all over my face. So that is the end look. I love using the beauty blender to blend out my concealer. It like removes any excess product. It just blends it out nicely and it is a bit faster when you use a beauty blender compared to a brush. I feel like when you use a brush, it's a little bit takes more time and it gives you more full coverage, but again, it's more time consuming. But with this concealer, um, this concealer is a bit difficult to blend, I'm not going to lie. Um, this concealer is very similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. It has a shade vanilla and custard in that NARS concealer. Um, so they're very... They're very similar in texture, but I feel the NARS one is a bit too drying and kind of hard to blend out. Compared to this one, this one is a little bit more moisturizing, a little bit more blendable. But at the same time, it is pretty difficult to blend. So if you've seen the demo, it is really hard for me to blend this concealer out with the brush. I never use a brush to blend out this concealer in particular. But as you can see, I struggled so much blending out with the brush because it just doesn't blend out evenly it's a bit streaky i don't like it using the brush so i prefer using beauty blender and that's why i go back and just use a beauty blender because it looks so nasty it looked like scaly it was not good so i do not recommend using this with a brush um, i recommend using it with the beauty blender because again it has more moisture blends it out a little bit easier and also just takes away any excess product so you don't look cakey underneath your eyes so i already enjoyed using these concealers i have been using this for probably a week or two and I have not put this down. Um, I'm not going to say it is my like overall like, best top five concealers. Um, I'm still testing it out. 
if you guys never see my holy grail products um i'll link it down below i did mention that the mac pro longer consider is my all-time favorite and it still is um but this one is probably number like top 10 maybe um gives good coverage it is a nice product it has a very nice doe foot applicator i've never seen an applicator like this before in a concealer so i really like it really easy to use but i don't know the formula isn't that wowing to me um again i use different concealers i could just use my pro long wear and i'm good to go again the only like beneficial thing about this concealer is that it has the applicator but again, you know, I prefer my Pro Long Wear. Um, that one's a little bit more creamier, kind of easier to blend. This one is a bit harder to blend. So if you're not, if you're like me who don't like to like take my time with makeup, I just like doing bam, 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 and done. You're not gonna like this because again, you have to take your time. Which I don't mind personally if I'm not in a rush. If I'm in a rush, I just go for my Pro Long Wear or other concealers I know for a fact they're gonna blend it out easily. This one kind of gives you that difficultness because, again, it is a different texture and it's thicker. So, if you guys like thick concealers, full coverage concealers, I recommend it. But at the same time, there are other concealers that are a bit better and a little bit, probably a little bit more cheaper. I don't know. Uh, one from the drugstore that I like using is the Maybelline Age Rewind. Bomb. Bomb.com. That is my favorite concealer from the drugstore of all time. That one um, from High End, again, MAC Pro Longwear. Um, so yeah, this one has a really nice shade selection. You don't really find this kind of colors in different brands. So for Kat, I need to come out with a white shade. It's awesome. Again, if you are a very pale complexion, this will be perfect for you. So me personally, I just love mixing these two together to get my perfect concealer cocktail going on. But again, do not use a brush. I use, again, the Morphe G2 brush to apply this. Streaky as heck. Do not use a brush. So my overall thoughts on this product is give it a try, see how you like it. Um, you can always get a sample or try it in the store. Um, see how it see how it looks on you. There is a wide range of colors to try, so that's an amazing thing about this line as well. That there's a lot of colors to choose from. Um, so yeah, again, I use L7 and I use um, not pure white. The whole time I'm saying pure white. It's called white out, not pure white. White out. So. Uh, overall is a great concealer do I recommend it yes if you like to cover those dark circles if you have any freckles that you want to cover or any discoloration underneath your eye because this is full coverage again um, I like using a corrector underneath my eye for with any concealer so that's why I did that today as well but uh, overall it's a really good concealer let me know what you guys let me know what you guys think about these concealers have you tried them have you guys not tried them do you guys want to try them let me know um also if you guys want to see any other makeup tutorial or reviews on any products that i've mentioned in the past let me know and i'm sure to do that for you guys so yeah without any further ado please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys